procedure itself, <clears throat> this is a, a, a very simple procedure. What we do is pay attention to the anatomy. If you notice, under the tongue, this membrane or frenulum goes from the tongue to the alveolar ridge. If you can look very closely, under the frenulum, there's a muscle called the genioglossus muscle. It's that little beefy muscle be beneath the frenulum. The, the place that we want to snip is between the tongue and that genioglossus muscle. We snip parallel to the tongue into the sulcus between the tongue and the muscle where it's at its thinnest so that we get the least amount of bleeding. And we want to go slightly deeper than the muscle itself so that it's well detached from its attachment to the, to the uh, gum line. After that, the baby has free access, free movement, freedom of movement of his tongue without impeding um, the movement by, the, uh, by its attachment to the uh, gum. When the frenulum is attached to the gum, then the tongue cannot protrude because it's the, when, the, when the jaw lowers, the tongue is pulled, pulled down and they can't uh, suck properly. Okay, so if you'd like now, we, we'll go on to the procedure. Okay. Now with the groove retractor, this is the groove retractor. These are iris scissors. With the groove retractor, you raise the, raise the tongue. And while the baby, while the baby cries, you snip the frenulum parallel to the groove retractor and go stay close to the retractor. And now we have a release of the tongue. There's no bleeding whatsoever. You can see that. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, you get it. Sometimes bleeding is a little bit too late. Just a tiny bit. Yeah. And you get a drop or two, but yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay, mom, you ready to breastfeed? When he cries. And you see that he's been, mm -hmm. tongue has been detached from his gum line. The, the bleeding was a bit delayed in this one. Yeah. Have you ever cut a little bit more posterior than you wanted to? That, that can happen. Uh, that's why you have to be very careful not to go too deep the first time. You can always go in again. Yeah. But this is fine. He's already, it's already, the oozing has already stopped. So you actually made two snips. Yeah, I did do two snips. Sometimes you can get by with one. Mm -hmm. I like to go a little bit beyond where the muscle protrudes. So because I've had to redo some, some that I've done, some that others have done. I've had to revise a little bit because they weren't quite loose enough. Mm -hmm. But this will be fine. This one is good. Okay. Oh, buddy. Nice. Very nice lift to the tongue. Okay, now we'll see how he lashes. And don't grab it. Wow, that's like... Does that feel a lot more comfortable? That's like a one. <laughs> Down from a six. Yeah. Is he sucking? Oh, God. Take a breath. Yeah. He's like, oh. <laughs> My tongue works. Yeah. Great. Yeah, I can feel him. I can feel his tongue. Tongue working. Moving against me more. Yeah. Wait. Wait a minute. Now How you got to get gumming that you were feeling before. Mm -mm. No he's, gumming. He's not biting. Same way. There you go. Great. Yeah, he's definitely getting a more full pull instead of just half of it. And a swallow, but no click. No clicking. Mm -hmm. And your pain is still down to a one? Yeah. I mean, it's uncomfortable because it's traumatized, but it's... It's not worse. No. Yeah. One or two. Definitely not a, not a six. Not a six. No. That's a very significant drop in the amount of pain. Yeah. Mm -hmm.